Hi guys, I'm Sonika. Recently, I bought my first DSLR camera and in this video, I'm going to share a few tips with you that can be helpful if you are looking to buy your first DSLR too. I will also highlight a few mistakes that I committed that you should definitely avoid. So let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. Try to figure which camera suits your need and budget. Now, last year my need was to start off with photography and my budget was around 20,000. I searched a few DSLRs and they were all costing me above 25,000. So I decided to go for a point and shoot camera, a Nikon Coolpix B500. This year I increased my budget to 50,000 and my need was to take my photography and vlogging a step further. So I went for Nikon D5300. So try to fix your need whether it is to start off with photography like me or you want to engage in wildlife photography, wedding photography, travel photography, whatever. Then fix your budget. Then see which camera and lenses fit into your need and budget. After you have zeroed in on a few options, compare them on the basis of their features. Namely, image sensor, video quality, weight and so on. Now with my budget of 50,000, I zeroed in on these three options. Nikon D5300, Canon 200D and Canon 700D. Now out of these, Nikon D5300 had a better resolution, bigger sensor size and lesser weight. So I decided to go for Nikon D5300 because bigger the sensor size, better the camera. See if you can try using that camera before you actually buy it. Maybe if you have a few friends who possess that camera or you can try renting it also. If not, have a word with a few professional photographers and ask their opinion. After you are absolutely sure about which camera you want to buy, it's time to figure where you want to buy it from. Look for your camera online and see if you can find any good deal. I was not able to get a good deal online so I browsed through Nikon's authorized dealers on their website. I called up each and every dealer, took quotes from them and zeroed in on a shop that offered me the best deal. But when I actually went there to buy my camera, they increased the price. So I went to Ford's camera market, visited as many shops as I could and bought my camera from the dealer who gave me the best price. When I was taking quotes from the various dealers and shops, they quoted me a normal price and a cash price. Now I assume cash price is if you pay in cash and normal price is if you pay by card. Now yes, cash price means paying by cash but it also means that they will not give you a bill for the transaction. So if you are taking quotes from any dealer, please make sure they mention that they are going to give you a bill or not. If they don't give you a bill, then your warranty goes for a toss. It's dangerous. Depending on your need, you may also decide to buy a few camera accessories like flash, lens hood, extra batteries and so on. Buy only those accessories that you want to buy, not what the shopkeeper insists. After buying my camera, the shopkeeper started selling me UV filters, camera bags, shoulder bags and what not. Please don't fall into that trap the way I did. Only buy the equipment you wanted to buy before you entered the store and not what the shopkeeper insists. So guys, I hope you found this video to be helpful. In case you did, give me a huge thumbs up. If you still have any questions related to buying your first camera, 
please leave them in the comment section down below. I will surely look them up and try to answer as many questions as I can. And if you have any suggestions to give, please put them down below too. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video because there's going to be a lot of stuff related to travel and photography on my channel every week. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Bye!